Excuse me. Could you be careful? Yeah, I'm playing hide and seek with Harry and Finn. Well, they're not in here, are they? Oh, did you get the chocolate tea cakes? Yes, along with everything else on your very epic list. Well, it's only what my brother deserves. And yes, before you ask, the bowling alley is booked, my lady. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, for Johnny, not you. But we're all going, right? Of course, it's a house trip. And I'm going to smash the house records. Harry, time's running out. Harry, mate, you're so rubbish at this game. Oh. OK. You're not allowed in here. Oh, how was it? I'm looking for Harry. We were playing hide and seek. Oh, I need Harry under the phone. Why didn't you even know? I don't want no one to be here when he gets back. OK, we'll see you later, yeah? Text Johnny. Look, I've been waiting for you for hours. We had a whole party arranged for you. Oh, of course, I believe you. I was just. I was looking forward to seeing you, that's all. Okay. Love you too. I'm gonna sue that phone company. Maybe, but mine went in here yesterday. And you were messing with your phone. What do you mean? Well, I came in and he was in here and he was holding your phone. Do you think he deleted it? T! What are you doing? We're having a competition. I start over there. Finn starts at the end of the corridor. First one to the top of the dynamos, over that line wins. We have to use the books, because the carpet's all wobbly. Right, well, be careful, yeah, because it's really slippy. We're being so careful. Clapping. This is me against him. That's unfair. Harry was my friend first. Ooh. Friends are like a big box of chocolates floss. Best shared. <laughs> Where'd you find these? In the attic. Michael Milligan, you coward. He deleted Johnny's message. She's off her head. T, I know you're upset about Johnny, but... Oh, Sasha saw him with my phone. Oh, so now we believe people who are on the way to secure home, do we? Excuse me, that's enough of that. Ryan, did you delete Johnny's text? No. Right, well, I'm afraid that's going to have to be an end of it. I've got to go to a meeting now. I can't believe you're going to let him get away with this. We can't do anything without any evidence. This house is built on trust. Right. He says that he didn't do it. I have to take him as his word, right? I have waited all afternoon for Johnny. I was so worried. How could you do that? If they knew he wasn't coming, then they might have cancelled the ball. Unbelievable. But how low can you get? You do not want to find out. Three strikes in a row. New record. Oh, Harry and Finn are playing with dominoes that look suspiciously like the ones Dodgy Dave sold you down the market. Ah, uh, yeah, he's not the returns kind of guy. You didn't even try, did you? I am. Um, I. Uh, I never got a chance. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Sent for me your reverse. Is it your birthday? It's been and gone. We should have a party. We've got loads of food. Uh, no, that was for Johnny, so you won't be touching it. Since when did you get so selfish? Calm down. We're not having a party. The birthdays are brilliant. Yeah, well, not everyone feels that way about it. <clears throat> why doesn't Ryan like birthdays? Um, let's drop that, shall we? But why would someone not want to throw a party? I mean, that's just weird. Ryan's right to privacy. Let's observe that, just as he would for you. Are you 
two racing. The loser has to do the chores. Well, you better get your washing up gloves on then, because Finn's way ahead. You can't be. It's my game. Oh, no. I need to be a bit better at this. Can you help me? OK, mate. Leave it to me. You saw how Mark Amelia are covering for him. There's something they're hiding about, Ryan. Something we can use against him. <laughs> You've actually gone mad. Uh, he threatened me. Yeah, I mean, not. He's a kid, not a supervillain. Carmen, you're supposed to be my mate. Believe me, I am your mate. <laughs> That's why I'm saying this. You get so stressed out. Oh, hi, Ryan. Why am I here, Ben? Has my gone to his meeting yet? Oh, he's so annoying. That card. It was forwarded from an old care home. And? They'll know all about him. Hurry up. I can't find it. PQ House, Pickwick Road. Finn, I want to see you. Why? I don't know, but he doesn't sound happy. What have you done? Nothing. OK, well, he said he wants to see you outside his office. <sighs> so, what, we're just going to knock on the door? Oh, no need. Excuse me. Uh, do you know Ryan Reeves? Who wants to know? Well, he lives at our care home. Poor you. Are they really that bad? Worse. How comes? Who are you anyway? Friends of his? Does a kid like that have friends? Please, we want to know what he's really like. Well, come on. I can never prove anything. But I knew Ryan was behind it. He's really thick. I'll wait till everyone hears this. I won't believe you. The talk is way out of it. What if it came direct from you? OK. I'm in. I thought I'd miss my chance to get him back. They won't believe someone they don't know. They will if we surprise them. How come you're waiting there? Is everything all right, Finn? Mike wanted to see me. Ryan said I'm in trouble. I think he's been pulling your leg. Mike's at a meeting. <laughs> you cheated! I'm still going to win. No hope. If I do, I keep Jeff for a week. Open the stakes, nice. Harry? If you lose, you do my chores for a week. But Ryan can't help you. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm bored anyway. I'm going out. Why is it all so cloak and dagger? Will this take long? We're in the middle of a race. That I'm going to win. Yes, well, you can race later. Because we're throwing Ryan a secret birthday party. Mike said no parties. Yeah, and you hate Ryan. What's going on? Uh, well, I visited his old care home. You all said I was too harsh on him. So I thought maybe you were right and wanted to see what he was really like. And they told you to throw him a birthday party? <laughs> no, they told me things about him. Such as? That was wrong. Oh, yeah, right. No, seriously. He was bullied really badly. All the other kids used to steal his presents. Seriously? Mm-hmm. That's why he never celebrates his birthday. Oh, so now all of a sudden you just feel sorry for him? I feel bad for not giving him a chance. That's why I want all of you to help me make up to him. No way. See, we've all had it tough here. So what's special about Ryan? I'm with Bailey. Ryan's a total trouble magnet. Parties mean cake. <laughs> I'm always up for second chances. So we're agreed, yeah? Good. Carmen and Cass, you can do the cake. Twins on food. Finn and Tyler, you can do decorations. Time out, yeah? Why not? Of course, that leaves. Floss, Harry and Jodie to do the party games. Cool. So, what are you two going to be doing then? Oh, well, we're organising the big finale. It is a secret, so remember to keep it quiet, yeah? What is that? It's a piñata. Everyone hits with a stick and then the sweets fall out. Poor doggy. It's a donkey. I've got two, and I can see the paws. Feet! There it's feet! I think donkeys have hooves, don't they? It still looks like a doggy to me. Oh, 
How's the meditation going? We're having a picnic. We're having a picnic. That's why we need all this brain food. You know it's forecast to rain. We're having an indoor picnic. OK, well, uh, make sure you clear up after yourselves, yeah? I'll be in the office, OK? I'm OK. Go down, girls. Teamwork. Have you got any sweets to put in Ryan's piranha? He ain't getting anything from me. It's piñata. You cheat You snooze, you lose. Harry, where are you going? He's not having Jeff. What about Ryan's party? <gasps> Floss, that's lame. There's always sweet in the office. Send you fell down the stairs. What? Oh, I no! Floss, what happened? I think a ball can... <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Plus, I've got no time for practical jokes. Come on. It's not a joke. I'm really hurt. Judy? <sighs> That's for Ryan. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure I said no party. Did you know about this? They told me they were having a picnic. What is going on? Shh. Surprise. We said a very good one. Get rid of it before Ryan sees it, please. Come on. Sees what? Happy birthday to you. Is this for me? Happy birthday no. to stop. you. Stop. Stop. Happy birthday No, you. stop. Ryan, I, I'm sorry. Did you do this? Well, yeah, but I thought... You have no idea. Get out of the way. No, Ryan, don't do that. I wasn't trying to get at you. Yeah, you was. I want to be friends. Yeah, dream on. I saw how you are with that birthday card and... I don't know. Maybe I've got you wrong. Yeah, you've got that right. I should have been more understanding. We've all had bad times, but times here are good. We want to celebrate that with you. We made you a piñata. It's a Spanish doggy. It's a donkey. We've filled it with sweets, and we've got a bat so you can hit it. And you can have the first goal. <laughs> Thanks. We've got another surprise for you. <laughs> Shotgun! Um, are you, are you okay with those? I didn't think I would be, but yeah. How did you know I like karaoke? Well, I have to listen to you singing in the shower every morning. And? Well, you know Liam Payne, but you're OK. What? Uh, you know Liam Payne? <laughs> but you're OK. <laughs> Singer reminds me of my sister. You have a sister? Yeah. I don't see her these days, but... We used to sing when my mum was out, which was most of the time. Yeah, it was the same with me and Johnny. I'm sorry you couldn't come yesterday. You must really miss him. I can't I know what it's like. I haven't seen my sister for six years. I'd hate that. I really would. Friends? Sure. <laughs> yeah. You have to stop this. Back out now. Sorry for wasting your time. If you bottle it, all you've done is thrown him a party. This is your last chance. Yeah, but he told me stuff. <laughs> He's always got stuff. That's what he does. Well, you've got me here. I'm not wasting it. Happy birthday, Ryan. T wanted me to tell everyone the truth about you. Places? And so here it comes. Straight from the horse's mouth. Get out. Um, whoever you are, you have to leave now. No, let him talk. Yeah, just see what he's got to say. Out. Now. Hey! Hey! Hi. 
I'm Laces. Ryan here used to live in my care home, and he ruined every single birthday that he was there. Calm down. That's a lie. He used to steal people's presents and flog them down the second-hand shop. So? You tore up my mum's card, so I thought she'd forgotten me. Who's gonna remember you? Laces. You're sick. This is not the time or the place. Yeah, it is. And Bailey was right. I was sick. Sick of being bullied by Laces and his mates. It was you doing the bullying. How can you say that? You didn't stop mugging me off about my sister. Come down. Don't fall for this. Come down! Tea. In the office, please. Over there, young man. Come on. All hands on cleaning up, please. Come on, inside. I need to explain. Yeah, you do. But I want him. They deserve the truth. The truth is your thief. I gave the money to charity, I just wasn't thinking straight. That's my excuse. On my fifth or sixth birthday, my sister gave me a card that she'd drawn herself. It was, she was only little, so it was a little bit rubbish. But it meant the world to me. Because that day, I went into care. Laces and his mates went through all my stuff as soon as I got to the care home. They found the cards and they tore it up. So when I got to his birthday, I just snapped. And I know it was wrong, but coming in has been a fresh start and I am trying to be a better person. Well, you're not making a very good job of it. Leave him alone. He said he's trying. Oh, I'll get ruthless. He doesn't mean it. If you want me out, I'll request a transfer to son. Yes, please. Yeah, that's not your decision. We could have a vote. Floss. Let's have him, Finn. Tyler, take that. Downstairs. I'm not thrown for doubting again. It isn't a trick. This is more important than your stupid little race. It's not stupid, and nothing is more important. So leave us alone. What happened to the vote? My Lee wouldn't allow it. So Ryan's staying? Looks that way. No thanks to you two. No fuss, no, ble ple no please, no. No, 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 no! so horrible. You're the horrible ones. You wouldn't let me play. You didn't do anything for Ryan's party. And you don't care that you might have been voted out of the house. Call yourself a friend, Harry. Dane Evans. I have him here at Ashton Ridge. Thank you very much. That would be much appreciated. Social worker's on her way. Whatever your grievance with Ryan, that was a spiteful thing to do. I just thought people needed to know what he was really like. What is he really like, T? Do you actually know? Well, he had it coming. Please, be quiet. We show respect for each other in this house. And you of all people should know that, T. Give it up, man. You earn respect. Yes. And Ryan, he's never earned any from anyone. Do you know what? Forget it. I'm out of here. Dean! <laughs> When did you turn into such a nasty piece of work? I wouldn't have gone this far if you would have just believed me about Johnny's text. Look, Ryan told me he deleted it so that he could make sure he was going bowling. I can't believe you take his word over mine. There are one or two special circumstances with Ryan. He's not special. He's a care kid, the same as the rest of us. Which is why you should treat him as such and apologise. Uh, listen up, please, everybody. Can I have your attention a moment? Uh, Bailey, please. Thank you. T has something she'd like to say to you all. I'm sorry. It's up to you. Okay, sure. We all make mistakes. No, it's not good enough. He still tricked us with his stupid little plan. Yeah, we were trying to be nice. You've ruined Ryan's birthday. Ugh, don't listen to him in his sub-stories. Whether you like it or not, we all have to live under the same roof. 
So let's stop the tit for tat, please. to say. I deleted Johnny's text. When's he going? Just... Just hear him out, will you? Please. You have every right to want to get me back. And I deserve it. And he'll be punished. Well, I don't want to argue with you. So can we not just wipe the slate clean? I don't know. After everything you've done, Ryan. Well, help me to change. Tell me what you really think of me. You're arrogant. You're a bully. You're manipulative. You treat people badly and all you care about is yourself. T, T. No. She's right. I need to hear it. I wasn't always like that. I just wish you'd knew me before. Before. Before what? Before I was taken away from my sister. We were always skint, me mum was an alky. But as long as we had each other, we were happy. My sister, she was the most important thing in my life. You remind me of her, actually. She was funny, a laugh, solid, you know. Yeah, I feel the same about Johnny. We have a lot in common. And I think we could be good friends if we got to know each other properly. So? T, how about it then? Sure. Why not? Great. I'll leave you to it then. So, how long have you been here? Since I was five. The longest. And who came next? Uh, then it was Carmen. Then Harry. Tyler and JD. And what about the others? Why? Oh, uh, oh, no, I just, I just know how things work, so I wanted to respect the pecking order. Uh, I think it was Mo next, yep. Then Floss, Bailey, Kazima, and and you. Yeah, that's useful to know. Thanks, T. See, I'm busy. Close the door. Sorry. He's upset with us. Tyler is manipulative. Bailey is a bully. Carmen is so arrogant. I can't believe she'd say something like that. I thought you were besties. Well, we were. He admitted it. I think I actually saw the real Ryan. I mean, I even felt sorry for him. We tried to get him chucked out. Yeah, I know, but he just seemed so sweet. T! Next time you've got something to say to me, can you say it to my face? Because me and you, we're now done. Carmen, wait! What, so I'm a bully now? What? Ryan! What have you been saying? No. It's what you've been saying. Carmen is so arrogant. Tyler is manipulative. Bailey is a bully. I'm telling Mike. Delete. And what about the people who heard the recording? They'll just back me up. I'm sorry about what happened before. 
What could you possibly have to say sorry about? Okay. I'll go some for you then. Lead the way, my man. This is because I haven't been a very good friend and I missed your vote and I missed your birthday. Harry, you've been the best. And there's no doubt about that. Go on, drop it in. Of your way. What are you on about? I just want you to tell everyone the truth about those recordings. What recordings? You know, the ones where you made out I said loads of nasty things and I didn't. Very poor. But Ryan, you've got to tell the truth. Everyone hates me. Oh, do they? That's a shame. You're not going to get away with this. They'll see through you and all that rubbish about your sister. I bet she doesn't even exist. Just so long as people believe me. Yes. Mm. 